So what happens if you fuse an approach shoe and a mountaineering boot? Stay tuned to find out. G'day guys, it's Rocky here from Further Faster and it's that time of week where we talk about beer and talk about gear, commonly known as a beer o'clock review. And uh, we'll start off talking about the beer. I've got a new one today, never had a beer from this company before. This is Stone Brewing out of Northern California. Um, I just nipped into the beer library, our local uh, delicatessen of fine ale, and I picked this one up. Uh, it's their Never Ending Hazy IPA. It's a session beer, which is unusual for Americans because their IPAs are usually super strong. But this is only 4%, so you can have a couple of these without getting a bit too daft. Anyhow, so if you manage to come across it, Stone, Never Ending Hazy IPA. Very refreshing beer, actually. Uh, quite nice. I'll put that down there for later. Um, in the intro, you'd have seen me holding an approach shoe in a mountaineering boot and say, what happens if you fuse them together? Well, basically, what happens if you fuse them together? you get a super light Alpine boot. Uh, so this is a brand new boot from Salewa. This is the Autos Light. And uh, basically what they've made is a, a fast and light Alpine mountaineering boot. Um, so it's everything you'd expect of an Alpine mountaineering boot. It's stiff, it's tough, and it'll, it'll do the job quite well. So let's go into a bit of detail. Starts off, they've got their own Pokemo sole on there, uh, which is a nice soft rubber uh, which will be really good on rock and on, on snow obviously it's going to do the job fine as you can see in the front there they've got a wee climbing zone on it as well for when you are edging on the rock and what they've done with this particular boot they've actually stiffened the sole up uh, both ways laterally and end to end and it's got more edging capability plus it's got that uh, EVA midsole you'd expect um, from Salewa it's an alpine fit so, it, you know, it will be a, it, it's a comfortable to narrow fit because, you know, you want it to hold your foot, especially if you're using crampons, you are doing a little bit of easy, easier alpine rock work in it. Um, it's got their 3D lighting system. So if you can poke down here, you've got a lace lock off here with the cams just down here. And what you've got here, you've got lacing, a climbing lace all the way down to the bottom. So you can get a real tight fit there, pulling that tight locking those cams off, then you can release it a little bit at the top for a bit more comfort if you want to. Um, going with that fast and light thing again, um, we've got a uh, rubber toe rand as well, actually. I, can't, I, must, I mustn't forget that. It's very well protected. At the top here, you've got an internal, well, it's not an internal gaiter, but basically you've got a Velcro wrap around. And once you, you let your foot's in that, it kind of makes a seal. So that's going to stop, hopefully, scree and crap from falling down if you haven't got another gaiter on, uh, into the boot, which is really quite handy. Everything's reinforced on this boot. Um, it's been designed in the Dolomites, where, if you don't know if you've been to Dolomites, but it's, it's tough ground. And they've, they've tried to wreck this boot a few times. So that reinforced rand's going all the way around. Wherever they're stitching, it's been overlaid with nylon reinforcement. And it's a, it's a fully heavy-duty resistant nylon upper to it. Um, again, making it quite light. Crampon comp compatibility, as you'd expect. Um, I banged on a set of Salewa's Alpine Combi crampon, and as you'd expect, the Salewa crampon's going to fit a Salewa boot perfectly. So that's a semi-automatic 12-point, So and that fits on that boot. Fantastic. So uh, it'll do the majority of jobs. What this isn't is a ice climbing boot. It's not an ice climbing boot, but for fast and light alpinism, um, it's an absolute perfect boot. It's, it's 600 grams for a size nine. It's not weighing much at all. It's really quite nice. Um, we've got the, obviously we've got the men's and we've got the ladies model. Uh, it comes in UK half sizes, everything from four up to, I think about 12. Um, they're in stock now. And the price on this is, I think it's 659. So it's actually quite a good price as well. Uh, it, you know, it sits very well into their range below something like this if you don't want a, a more traditional heavy duty mountaineering boot and you want to go a little bit fast and light then this is definitely one worth having a look at um so there we go that's the first look at the salewa autos light um see you guys soon cheers <laughs>